Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new ones. So just like every video, like I tell y'all, I'm going to start off with what is needed for this project, which if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, you can see the items needed ahead of time and you can also get that list on the community tab. Okay, so let's get jump right into it. So what is needed for today's project is paint. You do not have to use these paints. I'm using Color Shift by Folk Art. I'm using Pastel Purple, Pink Flash, and Blue Flash. You do not have to use them. You don't have to use paint at all on this project, but I decided that's what I want to do. Spackle, again, you can get Spackle from Dollar Tree. I got this from Walmart. When I bought it, it was like $5. I don't know what it is now. Um, some permanent vinyl I'm using this light blue you can get it from Dollar Tree that's where I got this from um, this is a optional one you can use ribbon I picked this one there are many different ribbons from Dollar Tree or even craft stores anywhere else you could look this is the one I picked <clears throat> really don't know what this is called but you can get it from craft stores you can get it from dollar tree i feel it's like a garland a berry garland i think that is what it's called actually so you're going to use that and then you're going to use some little wooden butterfly cutouts i got these from dollar tree so you're going to be using the two pack of wall shelves from dollar tree or if you can't if you can't find this stuff, just remember, look for something that closely resembles just a piece of wood, some kind of bird or, you know, if it's not wood, a butterfly that's not wood, you know. And I am using this removable wall stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. Now this is what inspired me to use the rest of the stuff. So, if you can't find this, find something that would go with the other stuff. You know, just be creative if you can't find what I'm using or just use something else. We're going to be using glue and we're going to be using scissors. So let's get to it. So on this project, we're going to be using both wood shelves. So I'm going to be spackling them both. I do. Of course, if you're using one that doesn't have holes, then you don't need to spackle, of course, but I I got lost, y'all. I forgot what I was saying. Well, anyway, so it's the same thing every time I spackle. You're going to spackle it, you're going to wait for it to dry, and then you are going to sand it. And seeing how you're sanding it, you might as well sand the whole board, front, back, sides, you know. Give it a nice little sand and go from there. Now, as I've said on my last video, the Dollar Tree one supposed to supposedly you do not have to sand it I don't know I haven't used it so I couldn't tell you if that's true or not and I really don't want to open spackle when I'm already using spackle you see what I'm saying so but maybe one day I will get to use the Dollar Tree spackle Unless I figure out a craft I can use it on. I don't really make very many foodie crafts, but uh, one of the other YouTubers says that the Dollar Tree spackle is good for making like the filling for the drinks, the whipped cream or whatever, or the middle, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. So just let it dry and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, now of course while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead, and actually I can use the ruler, 
don't need the measuring tape and cut out my vinyl that I'm going to be putting on sorry the, the um Board. sorry so that's seven inches and I'm doing it the other way last time I did five and a half and I did seven down but I'm doing it this way because I got two of them and I should be able to do five and a half on both I mean this should be enough for five and a half to get me what I need so let's see or not but it's not a big deal oh I'm doing it upside down that's why it's not working <sighs> yo do not ask me sometimes I just don't know So that's five and a half and I'm going to go from there. One more. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting and this time Instead of scissors, I think I'm going to use this because it, I think it'll make it easier for me to cut the line. And even if I don't get it straight, as long as I cut on the other side, it's fine. So that's done, and now I gotta do the um, half. So. And as you can see, I could have probably went further just to make it even, but it's more than enough to do that. Alright, so let me just show you. This is the smaller one. Hold on a second. As you can see, this covers, I don't know what happened. I measured it right, but something went wrong. And like, and I will show y'all again with the measurements. Seven by five and a half gives you room to make sure you get it on there right. All right, so these are done. <laughs> I don't even know y'all. I'm just, I'm not even gonna try to figure out. And then now what we're gonna do is we're going to paint, if you want to do this. Again, you don't have to. We're going to paint the, um, Butterflies. Sorry. So I'm just gonna take my paint. And again, this is a step you do not have to do. And I'm just gonna paint the butterfly. And this is also a color you do not have to use. So don't feel I'm making a mess show. Don't feel something you have to do either way. I'll get that 
that in a bit. This is just something I thought would make it pop a little more. Alright, so that one's done and I'm going to move on to the next two. And I'm moving on to the next color. And we're going to go from there. Now I like these color shift colors because I just feel like they add something to the color, to the, not color, I'm sorry, to the object that you're painting because if the light hits it a certain way it changes the color and I just think that is really pretty. That is why I'm using the color shift. Oopsie. Y'all, I painted the wrong side. Oh well. I'll probably paint the other side too. I knew that one didn't look right. <laughs> Of course, you only have to paint the one side. You don't have to do what I did and paint both sides, but I'm going to have to because I painted the wrong side. And these are just supposed to be quick paint jobs that look make it look pretty. All right. So, give me a second. I'll show you something. If you end up accidentally breaking it, while you are painting it, it's not a big deal. You could either attempt to glue it back together, like so. Or just glue it together on the thing. All right, once they're sanded and ready to go, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is just putting the um, vinyl onto the wood. Hold on a second. So we're gonna just gonna make sure it's cleaner than the other one was. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing we did last project. This is not a hard thing to do. We're literally just gonna peel the vinyl and lay it over the wood so I can get it to peel all right sorry about that No matter how hard I try, I still get it dirty. As you can see, that's what that's from. Oh, I'm not gonna fight it. It it's, works. All right, so number one's down. Now we're gonna move on to the second one. And again, we're just going to peel the vinyl and stick it on there. Now 
and look at that it's on there now we're gonna of course trim the vinyl the excess vinyl off of the board you don't need it part of the reason why I like using the vinyl is because it's clean and it covers beautifully so that's one of the reasons I like to do the vinyl Sorry, my fingers. Okay, something happened. I don't know. While I was in the middle of filming the cutting of both boards, they're both cut. As you can see, they look absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. As I said before, these are reusable stickers, but I don't want to have to worry about them coming off. So I'm gonna glue them down, and that's how you take care of that. Look at that. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere now. It's glued down. All right, hold on a second. So, the butterflies are for this piece. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to glue my butterflies down onto this around my. Um, uh, limb. I'm sorry, y'all. It just would not come to me. So I'm going to glue them down. And as you can see, this is the one I broke, and it still looks good. And I'm just going to glue these in a couple different spots. There's three of them, so three different spots. to have a tail I'm sorry y'all alright so that is literally what I did and you could put them wherever you want you do not have to put them in the same spot I did if you don't want to now we're going to move on to the next one and this one what I plan on doing is I plan on taking this piece of garland vine, vine garland berry garland I'm sorry and I want to make it like a limb I'm not going to use the whole thing I just want to see how I want it to be I think like this is good so I'm going to cut it down here I like that and the whole point of this is like I said to try to I'm gonna twist it because I did that wrong we're trying to not exactly 100% match the other one but match it so that it feels like Sorry, they're cohesive pieces together. And give it different textures and still look nice. Sorry.
All right, so that's this. And now I want to put these flowers around it also to help. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. This does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. Any other time, I wouldn't have this problem, by the way. All right, so. What I want to do is I want to glue these flowers, like I said, around it. This, it fell there, so I was just letting it go, y'all. And this just helps it feel like it's one piece. Now, with the bird, I want the bird sitting on it so that means I gotta cut the tail let me put where I want the tail cut at sorry okay. hopefully that works and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut the tail And now I'm going to take it, I'm going to glue the birdie onto where I want it to be. And I'm doing this, like I said, because I want it to look like the bird is actually sitting on it. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to glue the tail right there. Because otherwise it wouldn't sit right. It looked really weird. And there is that one. And I think they are so cute, y'all. And um, um, you can take and add ribbon to hang them. I don't want them to hang. I want them to sit. So that's why I'm not doing it. But I did want to show y'all that y'all could take. I just want to tell y'all you could take this ribbon and do a loop behind it whichever ribbon you choose I'm just saying a loop behind it and hang it on the wall but I wanted these to sit on the counter all right so that's it for today's project I had so much fun making it it came out looking absolutely gorgeous both pieces and they work well together look at that they go together you can't look hold on let me lift it up a little so you can see you can't look at that and think they would not work well together there's enough pieces in it that are the same and some difference to make it interesting. All right, so I had fun doing this project. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoy it. And if y'all do, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.